and welcome to Top Hat and Veils. My name is Gilletta Choju. Today I'm joined by Karina Jane Horn from Ashton Jane Bridal in Felixstowe, Suffolk. Today we're going to be looking at bridal wear, um, but this time shoes. So Karina, as you, you know, I'm an expert in your field, have you anything to say about shoes, the trends, or you know, any advice to give brides on their footwear when they're choosing it? Well, the most important thing yeah. is obviously comfort. Right. Um, there's some beautiful shoes about, right. but my advice is make sure that they're comfortable because yeah. you are going to be in them all day. Right. And there's nothing worse than sore feet. Definitely. But if you go for a good bridal pair of shoes, they're designed to be worn okay. for that special day right. with comfort in mind, but still they look beautiful. And they come in all sort of heel sizes all and different like heights. We find that most people want to go for a kitten heel, right. but there are some beautiful platforms, okay. um, flat little ballet shoes. Yeah. I even see flip-flops with just married yeah. on the bottom yeah. for somebody having a beach wedding. That's right, yeah. So there's all sorts of different styles. When a bride is planning to you know, look for her dress and things like that, what's your advice on shoe height and things like that? So obviously when you're pinning the dress to make sure it, it looks mm -hmm. right. What when we no do? normally when we first see a bride and we're trying the dresses on yeah. we look at the height of obviously the person right. and then depending on the bottom of the dress if it's got a really deep lace yeah. obviously if it's going to have to be altered sometimes you would need a higher heel because right. you don't want to spoil the line of yeah, the dress of but most of the time we can pin the dress according to the shoes but on occasion we have to factor in the height of the heels right. But a good shop will tell you this when you're ordering your sure. wedding dress, but that is something that is really important. Do you find that brides often come with shoes that they've already purchased for their wedding um, day when they're trying on their wedding dress, or is it normally the other way round? It's normally the other way round. Most of them, when they come, we give them a pair of shoes to try on okay. with the dresses, just yeah. so they get used to standing in a heel. Right. Um, we normally give them quite a high heel, but mm -hmm. quite a lot of them would prefer prefer the to try yeah, yeah. a lower one yeah. and it all depends on the height of their partners as well and obviously if they're going to have their hair up they have more height with a tiara yeah, so all, all of these, these things make a difference sure. to, to their choice and of course nowadays there's so many different places where brides can get married mm -hmm. so you're looking at different footwear to accommodate that sort of trainers Wellington boots, sandals yeah. even if they're having a beach wedding maybe abroad mm -hmm. the little sort of delicate sandal-like footless yes, um, yeah. decor that they can have on their feet and things like that so you know there's a huge range out there for brides isn't there it? is it's quite i think until you know what your dress is going to be like sure. you can't really make a decision on your shoes no of course not although some people do obviously want a certain make of shoe yeah. and then they factor that in and then look for the dress around it but I wouldn't right. always advise that I think it's better okay. to choose your dress first. Yeah. Okay. Um, Do you ever find brides wanting to buy two pairs of shoes maybe one for the actual wedding ceremony yes. and then one for the reception? Yeah. Yeah, some yeah. of them like quite high heels and then they might think that after they've been in them for a little yeah, while their feet so might sensible. hurt, they want to change yeah. into something more comfortable. They may want to dance so they wear yeah. a lower heel then. Yeah. Or they might be having photographs in a field yeah. so they can't wear heels and yeah. they change into wellies. Yeah. There's all sorts of yeah, things. Yeah, all different factors that they have yeah. to think about. But also um, design issues are very popular for brides, mainly yeah. for the ceremony and the photographs yes. and then they might change into something else. Yeah. So I've seen that as well. So. Well, a lot of the photographs before the actual wedding are taken of all the accessories, they are, yes, aren't they? Yeah. So the shoes are really important because mm. you get to keep those photographs forever. Definitely. So you want really pretty shoes yeah. for that. And there's wonderful detail on the shoes mm. now, isn't there? Or yeah. sandals, what have you to go The beading really? on some of them at the yeah. moment is really intricate. Yeah, You've got rhinestones some. and things like mm. that and some pearls. So. And you can have them added on. They can be added on after you've bought the shoes. They bedazzle them now oh, with a, wow. a bejeweler where they put Swarovskis oh, all on the heels. Beautiful. And I have seen it where they've even had the initials of the bride and groom That's on, nice. which is a really nice, a touch. nice touch. Yeah. And actually on the heels and the soles of the shoes you can mm -hmm. have things put, can't you? Yes, you can have an imprint where you walk on the sand and it says just married yeah. or the names again. Yeah. Or the date even of the wedding which is really nice yeah. and obviously they're nice to keep, aren't definitely, they? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Talking about um, the groom's shoes, um, 
traditionally it was a black pair of shiny mm. shoes but obviously that's changed now so you can get them in all different colors yes. can't you grooms are maybe dressing up in a vintage way yeah. and wearing brown shoes lace up yeah. shoes that kind of thing or suede shoes so you're seeing much more um, choice for a groom where yeah. it used to be the traditional top hat and definitely, tie definitely. now they're they're just as um influential in the choice of their suits yeah. Just Whereas, the fashion yeah, they are. They like to have that choice That's as well. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, it's nice for them. Actually, Definitely. Isn't it? Yeah, and also the sort of same-sex marriage as well. Yes. I mean, you know, the, the people are taking pride in their sort of appearance, yes. and uh, it's just as important for the men to look great yeah, on their wedding day as it is for the females. So, yeah. and yeah. a lot of men do like dressing. Oh, they do. Well, yeah, they, they no, like wearing great. really nice suits and a lot of linen, especially when they get yeah. married abroad. Yeah, and we've even seen people wearing shorts. Yeah. Yeah, which I'm looks sure. really nice if you've got sort of a relaxed beach wedding. Definitely. Karina, have you seen any sort of particular trends in the line of shoes for brides, like from peep toes or court shoes, um, the different fabrics that are used? Is there anything that you would sort of say is more favourable? Well, uh, always it's been satin right. um, because obviously the fabrics match yeah. the dresses really yeah. nicely. I'm seeing a lot of peep toes. Right. And I'm also seeing quite a lot of silver shoes because okay. people can can use those again. Yeah, um, also and they're nice for the evening. They are, they? And, yeah. and they like a bit of sparkle. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a lot of sandals, yeah. especially this time of year, coming up towards the summer. Sure. People yeah. like to have their, their toes out, but yeah. they have them all manicured, sure. which looks really nice. Oh, but the court, traditional court shoe with a kitten heel Still is the, the most, most pop popular style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's what we sell more than anything. And of course, Brides can have their shoes dyed, can't mm -hmm. they? Or their bridesmaid shoes dyed if they want to, to match their outfits. So um, if they're not getting married in a traditional, let's say, white or ivory dress, and they're maybe choosing a pale blue, they can mm -hmm. have their shoes dyed to match that dress. I also see quite a lot of brides like to have their shoes dyed to match their bridesmaids. Oh, so okay. if someone's having a blue bridesmaid yeah. dress, they, might wear they would shoes. like blue shoes That's under their wedding dress. Wow. So when they have their photos, they lift their hems and it all up. matches. Yeah, you yeah, see the blue, nice. which is a nice touch. Yeah, it's quirky, but it's yeah. nice. So, okay. Thank you, Karina, uh, for joining us today and your expert advice on bridal shoes. We'd like to thank you for joining us. And if you'd like to refer to the Top Hat and Veils blog on wedding shoes, please do so. Thank you. Bye-bye.